Hi YouTube, this is Mary once again, coming back uh, to do this this book I was telling you about last Saturday, Powerful Coach by Harold E. Tolliver. We'll pick up where we left off last Saturday, but I also want you to remember the Book of Answers. Right now, I want you to think about a question you might have, and at the end of the video, we'll see what the book of answers has to say and remember this is just the game this is the fun fun game you know so let's see where did we stop last saturday okay we're still doing the concept of god that chapter and uh, the way i'm looking at it, it is to finish up this chapter it's going to take two more videos because i don't want to run long videos and just have you try to retain a lot of stuff and 15 minutes of anybody talking is enough so i'll do as much as 15 minutes maybe 20 minutes that will allow me that's including going to the book of answers too so i'm going to start where we left off okay i believe the son of god has manifested in the material world as a light in darkness to show the way of enlightenment and oneness with the divine. God, my Father, the divine principle flowing through me is all I am. I am the Christ of God. All that God, my Father, is, is for the God-man to use. Thus, I am entitled to use all substance. In fact, God, my Father, is pressing out all substance to the God-man in unlimited measure. Hmm. Okay. We were born into this world to overcome and follow the sacred path and to embrace the divine light. Okay, I can I can understand that. If our strength is not sufficient, call the divine help, and that will always be answered. If our strength, I I remember one time, I oh I went through something. It was oh God, I just didn't have the strength to. Oh man, I cried. It was a thing I had with drugs, and I had been clean for a long time, and. I decided to clean up my closet. I had just moved and I ended up checking the pockets of the coat. And when I went and cleaned out the pockets, I found a crack pipe in my coat pocket. And I must have just freaked out because I was looking through the coat and the line and trying to find a rock in it. And I picked up the pipe and was scraping the pipe to see if there was any residue or crack in it. I went plumb crazy. That, I mean, not crazy, but it was it was unexpected when I saw that. And when I realized what I was doing, I couldn't do nothing but cry. Because I thought I had strength enough. I've been here going on eight years, and I surely, and, but I stumbled on this crack pipe in the pocket. And I just cried. And the voice says to me, sit on your bed and pick up your Bible. And the first scripture that you read, this is for you. Oh, man. And through the tears, I picked up the Bible. And I picked up this uh, the scripture that says, uh, for when we are weak, then we are strong. Because our strength is made perfect in, in weakness. So I, when I read that, I said, oh, that is just for me, right on time. And the next thing, I, I fell asleep. And, and I have to remember that when I'm weak, that's when the strength of God is kicking in. Let me read this again. Mm. If our strength is not sufficient, call for divine help. And that call will always be answered. So, oh man, I, I think about that. and I, that, that scripture, I'm about to find out when that, that scripture, I'll leave it in the text, but I think it's in James or Timothy, one of them. Okay, next, next quote. There is only one path and one way to the divine. 
and that is by self-conquest. All of our development must come from one source and one source alone. This is from within you. That's what that source is. The purpose of being is to order our lives that we may reclaim our unity with the divine spirit. The purpose of being, the purpose we are, why we are here, is to order our lives that we may reclaim our unity with the divine spirit. Okay, I understand. The world exists for a reason, to transmute disorder into order. In harmony into harmony, which is our spiritual work on this earth. We have been called to redeem and embrace the liberating truth and realities. We must put forth our greatest effort to express the divine through all we think, say, and do. The world will not improve until humanity improves. Our divine completion must include spiritual, mental, astral, and material manifestations. Demigod is one partly divine and partly human. So that's what a demigod is. You are one with God, as is all humanity, whatever you perceive God to be. There is only one God. But God is expressed in many different ways, in many different religions, and called by many different names. You can never be separated from this one God. Although you can deny God or do things that seem to be undivine, but you are still one with the one, even at your worst sometimes. Oh, man. That's kind of like a... You did. I remember I used to do this. My dad would act so ugly and bad at times, and I was just say, "He ain't my daddy. He. Ain't, I don't know where he come from. That's not my daddy." And I'd envision this man on a white horse. That's my daddy. Some some good man. That's my daddy, and I, that that would make me feel better. But after I did that uh, ancestry DNA, that man is my daddy, and <laughs> can't can't deny that. So we are one with God. And I don't care how we act, how bad, but what we do, murders, killers, robbers, rapists, we are still a part of God. The next one say is, our purpose in being is to order our lives that we may reclaim our at one moment with divine spirit. So we have to reclaim that and by remembrance. There is no limit on God. There is no teaming up with God unless a person takes his entire being to the truth. There is no teaming up with God unless a person takes his entire being to the truth. Sometimes I think I, I be teaming up with God. I, I believe I do. Sometimes I, I, I have to, you know, clean up my thoughts, but I, I don't dare com uh, have a conversation with God when I'm mad at somebody. I have to, you know, get myself presentable before I even get in the presence of God. Next one says, present the thing you receive to the world as that which God gives you. Tell others how this is done. Take the chance. Take the truth to work to your advantage. This great God of the universe wants to give you good gifts. Take it. Let me read that again. Present things you receive to the world as that which God gives you. So present the things that God gives me to the world. Tell others how this is done. Take the chance. Take the truth to work to your advantage. This great God of the universe wants to give you good gifts. Take it. The sun is a symbol of God himself to whom we turn in order to uni unite ourselves with him. So the sun, the S-U-N, is a symbol of God himself. You know, a lot of times I don't even consider the sun. You just, just 
take the sun for, I don't know, take it lightly. I don't even think about it. And I guess I should consider what the sun is. The sun does come out, and when it leaves, here come darkness. The next one says, the source of all creation is God, and the expression of all creation is you. Okay. The God that people speak of often is only the God they build out of their own reflection. Read that again. The God that people speak of often is only the God that they build out of their own reflection. Oh, okay. I get that. The God I'm talking about is the God is out of my reflection of things that I know and I've seen. The universe and everything in it are part of a vast living intelligence, the prime creative force that we could call God. What is enlightenment? It is a state of all knowing when the direct consciousness of God manifests through us. Hmm. With enlightenment, we actually do not become one with God. We become God. That's neat. With enlightenment, we actually do not become one with God. We become God. That's neat to know. The ascension is a spiritual acceleration of consciousness that takes place at the natural conclusion of one's final lifetime on earth, whereby the soul reunites with God and is free from the root from the round of karma and rebirth. Let me read that again. The ascension and the spiritual acceleration of consciousness that takes place at the natural conclusion of one's final lifetime on earth, whereby the soul reunites with God and is free from the round of karma and rebirth. Oh, it's like when you, when you actually die, and you ascend. That's the part, the ascension. Now, a lot of times, well, this is what I believe, a lot of times we'll die, but we're not free from the, the karma. And we have to keep being reborn to free ourselves from that. But when we actually ascend, that's when we are free from the rebirth and, and owing karma. And, and we're free. And that's, that's what ascension is. If the body is not obedient to spirit, how can it express this spirit? The conscious mind must seek and want, want the spirit in order to learn the power of the spirit. Mother Nature is a living consciousness. Mother Nature, a living consciousness. Mankind's consciousness determines all of our natural and earthly conditions. Since there is only one power and one God, all work must be done by God. God is not a mystery. Man is because he has forgotten and choose to remain in his fallen state of corruption. That mystery is why man remains in the negative, unliberated state. So I guess that's when you look out at the world and just so much terrible things going on, murder, killing, just everything just going on. Oh, man. That's what that is. Mm. God is not a mystery. Man is because he has forgotten and choose to remain in his fallen state of corruption. The mystery is why man remains in the negative negative unliberated state yeah we remain in this state i guess we lost hope man's greatest mistake is trying to become god instead of simply being who he was created to be by god he is looking for something that is right within himself we don't need to try to become we must simply be we are it and we claim it indefinitely. So we don't have, <laughs> we are God, just claim it. 
It is it it isn't impossible to describe God. God is only a realization that one has and achieves within himself. Hmm, it isn't impossible to describe God. Like I said earlier, you couldn't describe him. Hmm. Hmm. God is a realization that one has and achieves within himself. I guess when you get to a certain place and know yourself, then you can describe what God is. But then the more you change, the more you learn, I guess that's the more God changes. I don't know. Don't pay me no attention. <laughs> there are no other life forms. There is only the life form that is the expression of the creator of all. As he is indivisible. As is the life form. Hmm. God is one and he is all. He is recognized by different names and concepts. But his essence is recognized by all. For he is, as we are of him. God is not a person, but spirit, a universal intelligence existing in man. Behold, our God is one. All things and all people are included with him. And being included with him, they are one and with him. Krishna means God. K-R-I-S-H-N-A. Krishna means God. Most of us, most of us were taught that the supreme power is separate from us. The supreme power, yeah, because we go looking for God. Hmm. We cannot worship the creation over the creator. God is in the consciousness of every individual. Man and God are two aspects of the same thing. Ascended masters serve as the teachers of man from the realms of spirit. Unite with your own God self. The ascended masters are enlightened spiritual beings who once lived on earth, fulfilled their reason for being, and then reunited, reunited with God. Man is made of the very essence of God's nature, like unto it. If the cause is God, the effect is God's manifestation. Cause and the effect must be one. Can there be the mind without thought? <laughs> That's good. God is creative, loving, and infinitely good, and so is man. God is all the gods represented in one within the flesh of mankind. The coming of God is in man. The coming of God is in man. So we're looking for God to come in the clouds. Oh, I guess we're looking at it the wrong way, huh? We are God. Man cannot claim to be God, yet man is not separate or apart from God. Man is a wonderful spiritual being of God. Let me take a sip of water right quick. Come out, Hmm. If you separate yourself from God in thought, you will also separate from him in manifestation. In order to enter fully into the joy of life, you must seek life and joy that life gives to all humanity. You are all gods, sons of the Most High, all of you. This is in Psalms uh, chapter 82, verse 6. Everyone that hearkens to the voice of the Spirit comes unto God, even the Father. This is found in John 6, chapter and the 37th verse. Think as God, love as God, and live as God. Then you, be, you will become God. <laughs> like that. The only sacrifice 
that God requires is self. Hmm, self-sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself. God is the energy of the universe. He is the principle behind everything that exists. The principle is called spirit. God is no way the form of a human being. God is that supreme intelligent power that permeates every atom in the whole universe. When you realize that supreme intelligence power is fully centralized in your form, you are that power, and by full acknowledgement that this power acts through you, you become that power. Every individual has the ability to be that power. This is the God kingdom into which every person is born. And as soon as I'll see and know this, I'll become God. All beings have already existed in spirits without beginning or end. Yeah, I, I, I think that, and I used to, you know, stumble on that thought, but people used to tell me, uh, you know, your birthday, blah, 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 and I would think mm, I came here in 1954 but I don't feel like that was the beginning of me it seemed like it, it I was I've been here forever not not just uh, a little black girl and living in projects I think I feel like I was here before then and and I know I was let me read this again mm. all beings have always existed in spirit without beginning or end. That's where I felt, without beginning or end. I just existed. We cannot put a definition on God. God is infinite. When we learn to discipline and control our thoughts and feelings and use only the positive, constructive word sent forth with the divine love, our body and mind respond to that righteousness right useness righteousness the right use like we're using it right that's righteousness hmm, that's neat okay baptism means to open the spirit to all that is positive in life and not given by rituals hmm god in his holy tabernacle is not a personification is not a lone God, but is in all, through and through with all. Yet he answers within the stillness of from the force within the person, not without. Yeah, it comes from within. Because you I don't it's not coming from outside. I can hear it. I mean, even when I hear the voice, it's not like somebody whispering in my ear, it's coming from within my being. It's kind of like your the intuition, the inner inner voice. That's what it is. Okay, it says the right use and the selection of words of vital importance. It is of vital importance. But equally important is the feeling behind those words. For feeling is the motivating power that makes the world live. This is where divine love enters in. Universal energy or spirit is usually called God. God is not the persona is not the personification of spirit. That is only the misconception we have been taught. The personification of God is an individual. Let's see, read it again. The personification of God as an individual does not give credit to the vastness of our universe. A ray of life force is designed to increase the wisdom of man's spirit. Okay, let's see, because I don't want to... Yeah, I'm going to read one more page, and then we'll, we'll get the third part next time. It would be almost appropriate to say that God is a life force period god is the life force the life force in its purity is the essence of having no beginning and end 
as remaining nothing except love. You are in recognition of this, of this reality. Recognize the expression of you is a sum total of the life force of God. Even if you do not believe in God, you cannot fail to recognize that there is an order in nature, and consequently, there must be an intelligence which created that order. That is so true, because the universe is in order. It's kind of, you know, things are not as in order as it was, but I don't know what's going on. I guess they call it climate change. I don't know. The next one says, I know and I understand clearly that God is here. I believe in spirit. Our people must totally, our people must totally to the fullness do and love the will of God. They're only allowed to live by. Right. Our people must totally to the fullness do and live the will of God. They're only allowed to live by. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, I can finish this whole chapter. I didn't, I'm just counting wrong. God created me, and I create God. <laughs> I, I create the creator God. God sees through our eyes, hears through our ears, and all of our senses convey information to that force. And the same must be true of our thoughts and feelings that we derive from our senses. This is a rational explanation of the omniscience attributed to God. Be a complete and perfect reflection of God himself. I guess that's when you're talking about uh, becoming the perfect, be perfection. Okay, and then the next one is chapter 2, Universal Laws and Freedom. We'll do that next Saturday, but I don't want to just... Uh, bore you guys with it, but this book has really helped me. And now we have 27 minutes. Ooh, okay, we're going to do this book. And I know what my question is. And let me just put it back out there, my question, what my question is. And let me see, I'm going to do this with this hand. The answers, think about your questions. You know, like I said, this is just a game, a game. <laughs> Use your imagination. Okay, I'm going to see how this going to fit with. Use your imagination. Oh, I guess that, that's an answer. Use your imagination. Because I'm, I'm not go, maybe one day I'll, I'll say what my question was, but it, it was. Use your imagination. And I do have to use my imagination in this situation. And with using my imagination i still have to believe okay okay i got you okay all right lovelies is what 28 minutes and you guys have a happy sabbath or saturday and a pleasant weekend and we'll see you next week goodbye <laughs>